Welcome, today I'll be showing you how to connect your Twilio number to chatbotbiddle.ai using audio codes with a SIP connection for a seamless voice automation. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now, the question you may be asking is, why even do this? Well, you see in short, Twilio gives you cloud flexibility, while audio codes gives you advanced routing control. And together, they make sure that your calls reach your AI chatbot smoothly. Now, with that answered, the first thing you want to do is have Twilio open and audio codes open, right? Audio codes live hub right here. And I'm also gonna leave a link down below for this documentation right here. Connecting Twilio Elastic Zip Trunking to Live Hub. Now this is a very detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough and there are maybe one or two different areas where you might get a little bit confused and need to you know, go back and make sure you've really done the right thing. So I will make a video on this as well. But for the most part, this is a very easy, comprehensive guide. Now, what you want to do is first you need to make sure that you have a Twilio number. So in your Twilio, you want to go over to phone numbers, manage and buy a number. Then from this tab right here, you can choose the country, the capabilities, and then also choose which number it is that you would like to buy. Once you have bought a number, that's the first step done. Then you want to head on over to audio codes and click on SIP connections. So from here, what you want to do is add new SIP connection. I've already done one, but you're going to follow the detailed instructions that is included in the documentation. It will tell you what name to enter, type, provider, region, in my case, I've chosen USA, and all of the other things such as incoming, outgoing, number, and under info. So you will have all of the step-by-steps for this. Now, once you have created it, you will receive this, a little green over here that says keep a life status connected. Now, when it's time to do this for your Twilio account, you wanna come into your Twilio account and type in Elastic Zip, and you will find it right here in the middle, Elastic Zip Trunks, simply click on it. Then from here, it will be empty, just click on create new zip trunk, and then follow the detailed documentation. So this is gonna show you how to create your zip connection in LiveHub, which is audio codes. It's also going to show you how to configure Twilio Elastic Zip Trunking right here. And then it's going to show you how to update Zip Connection in LiveHub. Now, once you've completed all that, you should be all good to go. You can check your active number and it should show you right here, Voice Zip Trunk Audio Codes. So it's all good. That means you've done everything correctly. Then what you want to do is head back over to Audio Codes and you want to connect your bot. So here you will click on Add a New Voice Bot. I've already done this. You click on add a new voice bot. I'm going to walk you through these steps. Um, you can click on audio codes bot API, click next. Then for the bot name, you can have right there and bot URL. I'm going to show you exactly how you can get this bot URL. Okay, so for the bot URL, what you want to do is head on over to your CBB account, right? There's a section on the left called documentation. Now click on that and you want to search here audio codes. It will then redirect you to the audio codes voice automation with audio codes documentation. Simply click on that and scroll down until you find the here. Wonderful. You're going to grab this and put it into a notepad. And this is the method that I use. All right. So in this URL, you can see these two at the bottom, ACC, which is one, two, three, four and ABCD. This is the important part. Now from here, Let's say this is the account, the CBB account that you want to have this set up to or connected to. You'll click on settings and you will get your account ID and also your account key. So simply click on settings under the general tab, scroll all the way to the bottom and then get your account ID from here. Control C to copy and just where the one, two, three, four is, paste it right in there. Just like that. Then the account key, I'm going to copy this as well and just where it says A, B, C, D. And paste it right in there. And now you have the URL. You want to copy this and head back on over to audio codes. The bot URL is right here. Done. As for the tokens, you can put in one, two, three, and then choose the region. So I want to choose USA. And then validate the bot configuration. So we get a little green pop up here that says it's all good. I'm not going to do this because I already have done this, but you can take my word for it. So let's just close out of this one. All right. So once you have this, Let's click on edit. You can do additional settings. 
Right, so you will have this all set up. As you can see, I've already done this. The bot framework is audio code spot API, the name, the URL, the token, the region. Now on the bot settings, now these are the ones that I've chosen, is text-to-speech service Google, speech-to-text service Google, language English, and then voice name, I've chosen this one right here. You can choose different languages here. Then you can have additional settings such as barge in that allows you to interrupt the voice bot. So as the voice bot is rambling on or talking, you can just start talking to it and it'll stop just like the advanced voice model that we've seen. DT is, I believe, the tone, dial tone. I haven't used this one yet, but yes. And then simply click on update. So I'm gonna close this one because I already have done this, okay? Then the next step is routing. So you're gonna head on over to routing. Let me just remove this notepad here. Great. So now that we're here in routing, what we want to do is click on add new routing rule, right? In this case, I'm just going to do it and cancel it, but add new routing rule, region USA. We're going to do call first and then from zip connection Twilio, routing to our bot with live hub recording enabled and then create. Close this. Yes. And then you will do the same for transfer. So as you can see, I got one here for call or one here for transfer. So click on edit, USA, type transfer, transfer by Twilio, call destination CBB, test, that's just what I've named it, and live hub recordings. Perfect. And then that's it. Now all you're gonna do is ensure that you have connected your bot already through the bots up here. You wanna go back over to your account. You wanna head over to channels and voice and click connect. Now I'm gonna head on over to phone numbers, my Twilio number, and I'm gonna copy this number right here. Then we're gonna head back to our CBB account, click on audio codes and paste it right in there. Click continue and that will connect it, success. Now from here, a very important and crucial step is that you must select a welcome message for that particular channel, otherwise it will not work. So let's head back over to settings, channels, voice right here, and welcome message, we're gonna just select a welcome message. In this case, make sure you click save and you're all good. Now, I hope this video was helpful. I will also make a video on this one right here, the documentation of connecting Twitter Elastic Zip Trunking to LifeHub, the step-by-step, -step, just following it along and having it done. I hope this will help others out there. And if you have any questions, you know, you can drop them down in the comment section below. Also, join us in our Facebook group and our Discord community. Links also will be down in the description below. And this particular documentation, you can also find it below. So if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you in our community. Happy building.